All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, just in the middle of packing up to go racing, and I thought I would uh, do it a quick update on the on the fleet here. I was kind of cleaning and maintaining and doing a little tuning on all of the cars this weekend. So I just thought I'd go over a few kind of standouts. Uh, on the two slotted cars, I ended up um, putting in the grub screws for the to adjust the axle heights. So removing the plastic ones that come, you know, stock with the kit and putting in the in the optional grub screws uh, so the axle height's net better adjusted on this one i ended up changing the rear tires as well because it was all over the place and uh, it made quite a difference it's over a second faster now so huge improvements um on the camel i put the grub screws in that one as well same with the f1 car so adjusted the axle height there um all the cars got greased uh oiled all that kind of good stuff on the two BRM cars, I ended up running different tire combinations. So on this one, it actually has the rear tires from the Mini, which I think kind of lowers it a little bit, so it's a little less likely to roll over. Felt very stable on the track. And this one, I have the uh, tires from the Gordini on the back. Um, times are more or less the same, so I think it's more just kind of in my head. But um, I kind of like the way it felt around the track, so I'm keeping it. I also think it looks kind of cool. So, you know, I would have put the front tires in as well, but they didn't actually fit. Um, I might end up ordering some more tires for these cars at some point. Uh, I also put a little bit of weight in the front of this one. That seemed to help. Um, what else? On the 911, I took off the wheel caps. So those look kind of cool now. And just not really much of a difference there. Uh, I also glued back on the wings on this car and on this car. The wings have been off of those for weeks now. But uh, but yeah, just a little bit of maintenance. Uh, it's surprising how dirty these cars get. Uh, I mean, some of them are like near just black inside. So um, so yeah, keep them keep them clean, guys. You know. And uh, yeah, so just a quick little video. That's gonna be it. So I'm gonna head off and do some racing now and. Uh, Hopefully the cars are faster on track at the club. Well, I wasn't planning on adding any more to the video, but I figure why not? So we'll do a little race recap and uh, go over how the night went. Uh, so the DTM car, which I was excited to try, um, I ended up picking this for my class. And uh, I did okay with it. I did end up winning the race. The car was, was stable, wasn't that fast i think it was faster than it was than it has been in the past but um it still was about i think it was about four tenths i think slower than the fastest dtm car on the track which was uh the mercedes 190e but uh i did get to run this car a second time that night uh when i and um it did quite well it went faster than it did the first time i ran it still not as fast i think i was at that point maybe two tenths off but I think it's coming more down to driving the name. And the car was very stable, had lots of grip. Um, I don't even think I crashed it once. Uh, I remember when I first got the car, it was, it was almost near impossible to drive. So it's the best it's ever been. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I ran my Revo slot. Uh, that ran very well. Ended up winning that race. Uh, this car generally does very good. Um, the LMP car uh, was quick as well. It's... It's a little too low, so it kind of scrapes the track, which I think is probably slowing it down. So I'm going to maybe look into putting in some, some taller rear tires in there. Um, yeah, one thing I do notice, I think the way I tune the cars is they might be a little too, they might not have enough kind of like tolerances, if you will. So the, my track is quite smooth. The club track has some bumps in it. So I think I need like a little bit more play in the axles and the screws might have to be a little bit more loose um could because of the bumps i could see some of the cars like they bounce around under acceleration in some spots but um but yeah overall the the cars did well uh, i ended up finishing in the second round i didn't do great i ended up only kind of finishing in the b main but then i was able to bump up into the a and i ended up winning the a main which is pretty great and then in the first round i was first overall which was awesome. So I made the A final there, obviously. Uh, but I ended up finishing third. Uh, we ran the um, 
F1 cars, I was doing good, and then I had one crash, and then unfortunately that was it. But, um, but yeah. This car here, I tried the different real wheels on it. Um, I don't know. It, I don't really like the way this car drives, to be honest. Um, might try to tinker, tinker with it a little bit more, but to me it just feels like it's ready to come out of the slot at any moment. Uh, I did tighten the guide um, to run it on my track at home. And I think maybe that was maybe contributing to that. So I think I'm going to try loosening up the guide so it has more uh, vertical play. Um, the Mini did okay. Um, the times I ran the Mini were not too far off what I ran last week. Generally, everyone seemed to be a little bit slower than what they were running when we did the first round of the Mini Championship. But, um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, it was interesting. In the second round, we ran rally cars and... Uh, my two rally cars are terrible, uh, but I got kind of lucky. I ran the Escort, and um, yeah, I just I was able to keep it on the track. I just went pretty slow around the corners. I was maybe a second off the pace, but the two guys, first, I had to finish at least second, and the two guys that I was battling, they ended up crashing. Um, on the second to last lap and also on the last lap. So I passed them on the second to last lap and then I they got in front of me again and then they crashed again. So I got super lucky. They crashed basically on the last corner. I passed them both and ended up winning. Um, yeah, so just basically decided to take it easy, stay on the track and make sure I didn't get lapped. Uh, but you could tell the car could not go around the corners like if i went any faster it was going to roll right out of the slot so i just slow around the corners and the car has a decently fast motor so i was able to keep up on the straights and uh yeah so that was awesome and then we ended up picking rally cars again and i thought i was just done for but um at that point one of the other guys in the club let me borrow a rally car uh because i wanted to actually see if i could maybe win the a final and uh, the car he gave me was like a rocket so um, I ended up walking away with that race. It wasn't even <laughs> wasn't even close. Uh, I didn't crash, and the car was, I think, one of the fastest ones on the track. I think maybe it was two tenths off the fastest lap. But you know, everyone else had a few crashes, and I just just kept them on the track. So um, yeah, but the cars are good, and I think just more at this point, I got to focus a little bit on my more on my driving. Maybe just trying to carry a little bit more corner speed. Um, you know, so just keep on practicing and uh, hopefully I'll get a little bit faster. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I have a few more cars coming. Uh, so we'll be doing some unboxing videos, more testing. I'll obviously have to update the leaderboard as well. So a few more videos uh, in the pipeline. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.